the XT4 is the Cadillac of compact SUVs. Nailing down its competitive set is tricky, but we'll hash that out shortly. First, what is this thing? That's right, it's a distinctly styled small SUV. This particular XT4 is the sport trim, as indicated by its gloss black trim and sporty wheels. A more traditional luxury aesthetic can be had with the aptly named luxury and premium luxury trims. Regardless of trim, all XT4s present a bright face with standard LED head and running lights. In back, the Sport has clear LED taillight lenses, while luxury trims come in red. Before moving on, I'll point out that this color-free Cadillac crest looks like a smushed Decepticon logo. If possible, editor, this would be a really good point for you to use the robot voice on me. What's life like, like a transformer? Oh, it's, it's not so bad. I mean, there's a lot of sitting around interspersed by some moments of sheer terror, but you know, it's a living. So does this orange paint make my butt look big? Y you can be honest. Inside, buyers can choose. Okay, enough with the robot voice. Buyers can choose from a variety of themes with wood, metallic, or on the sport model, carbon fiber trim. With lovely stitching, soft surfaces, and a modern design, the X-T4 feels like a premium product. Defying that premise are hard plastic hidden down low and, at least in our test car, janky-looking A-pillar trim. Ugh. I've also noticed that at certain angles, the trim in this region reflects the sun right into my eyes. Another visual consideration is a high belt line that makes sitting in the X-T4 kind of feel like sitting in a hot tub. There we go. Woo! Ooh. Not unlike a hot tub, the X-T4 is a pleasant spot to hang, thanks to soft armrests, extending sun visors, and a good driving position. In back, legroom is excellent for a small SUV, at least when seated behind myself. I've got plenty of knee clearance, and my feet fit way under the front seat, so I can stretch out. Headroom, meanwhile, is merely adequate, and the seat backs do not recline. But they're squishy enough I can't stay mad at them. Oh, that's nice. That's so cozy. For hiding smaller items, the interior offers seat back map pockets, deep center console storage, these handy slots, and umbrella holsters in the doors, which we would definitely use if it ever rained in California. For larger gear, a spacious, conveniently square 22.5 cubic feet hides behind the second row, expandable via 60-40 folding seats. On a related cargo note, using the OnStar system and an Amazon Key app, you can have Amazon deliveries dropped right in the trunk of your X-T4. And if that sounds like a bad idea, try leaving those deliveries on your porch all day. Hey Tim, hey. how many times have you had stuff stolen off your porch? Twice. Twice? That how wouldn't many be packaged. Oh yeah, yeah. Seven total. Is it true? Seven, yeah, four and three. Well I know how <laughs> I know how math works, Tim. Math. Yeah. <laughs> Another prime bit of technology is the standard eight-inch Q infotainment system featuring Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration and near field communication for simple Android phone pairing. You just tap this spot with your phone and it connects. How convenient. Quick reacting and cleanly arranged, I don't have much to complain about. I especially like that even though they have a rotary control knob down here, they also give you the freedom to just push the buttons up here on the screen. I like options. Moving all XT4s is a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder with an inoffensive yet defeatable engine start-stop system and the ability to transparently deactivate two cylinders when cruising for improved fuel economy. On that score, front-wheel drive XT4s return up to 30 mpg when driven tamely. Gun it, and there's ample power to jump ahead of traffic. At the same time, with all that power going to the front tires, torque steer rears its head. Uh, uh, a little bit of that, oh, there we're going over there. Uh, yeah, and now we're braking. It doesn't take much effort to counteract the steering wheel's tugs, but it does remind me that some car makers have managed to exercise their torque steer demons. Aw, remember the fun we had in the Civic Type R? Interestingly, models equipped with the optional twin-clutch all-wheel drive system also experience torque steer. In tour mode, power is efficiently directed solely to the front tires, helping explain a meager 1 mpg drop on the highway versus front-drive XT4. 
you demand full-time traction enhancement, just like all-wheel drive or sport mode. When rolling through the suburbs, the X-T4 has a smooth riding demeanor. Enhancing the experience is relaxed, low-effort steering, a hushed cabin with active noise cancellation, and a responsive, fine-shifting 9-speed automatic transmission. By contrast, the engine's personality is abrupt and unabashedly turbocharged. Press the throttle and a short pause is followed by a whooshy turbocharged kick. Whether mellow or intense, the X-T4's acceleration feels raw for a Cadillac. Especially at low speeds, it's hard to ease into the power. With that measured foot inputs, it looks like I'm trying to get my learner's permit. For the record, I have my driver's license. I've also noticed a disconnect between the steering resistance and the rate of vehicle turn. But there I go again complaining about steering feel. Ow. Let's change things up and complain about the brakes. The X-T4's brake pedal is both spongy and overly sensitive. How's that possible? We will have cut the beer roll by now. If the editor has done their job. Damn it. The prime suspect is an electrohydraulic braking system that ditches old school vacuum assist for a compact electric motor. The result is odd pedal feel and improved efficiency. On a brighter note, the X-T4 Sport can be equipped with adaptive dampers, elevating ride and handling by matching the suspension's reactions to the demands of both the road and the driver. Buy a sub $36,000 X-T4 base trim, including destination charges, and you'll enjoy four USB ports, both A and C types, eight airbags, two-zone climate control, power front seats with two-way lumbar, rear parking sensors, and keyless access so you don't have to mess with the fob when you're coming or going. Populating the option roster are heated and ventilated seats, leather, blind spot warning, wireless phone charging, a dazzling 360-degree camera system with a range of views, a rear-view camera for unimpeded yet creepy visibility, and super-adjustable seats with a massage function, though when you first start the car up, it takes the screen a little while to boot up, and you need the screen to select the exact kind of massage that you want. He needs a massage. Stat. Tack that to a growing list of tedious complaints from privileged people. As you'd expect from a modern luxury vehicle, the X-T4 offers active driver assist options, like dynamic cruise control, forward and reverse automatic braking, and lane departure warning with steering assist. Load up a sport or premium luxury trim, and the MSRP can top 55 grand. Heads up, the only free color is silver. Any other hue will cost you between 600 and 1200 bucks pitted against compact luxury SUVs like the Audi Q5 and BMW X3, the X-T4 is a bargain, though it could be argued their real competition is the bigger Cadillac X-T5. Move down a class to subcompact SUVs, and the X-T4 is a larger but pricier alternative to entrants like the BMW X1 and Mercedes-Benz GLA. Perhaps the most direct competitors are the value-priced Lincoln MKC, the popular and similarly priced Lexus NX, or the slightly pricier but lovely and more powerful Acura RDX. However you compare it, the X-T4 is distinct, comfortable, and practical. It's not perfect, but it is the Cadillac of compact SUVs.